Oh, absolutely, Mark. You know, if we're really lucky in the next couple of minutes, we may just be serenaded by the pipes and drums because the marching bands of Murrayfield are just starting their rehearsals behind me, as is the PA announcer. This is all part of a big match build-up, of course. Now, I think we may have a national anthem rehearsal, Mark, which would be a real treat, wouldn't it? We'll carry on talking anyway as it plays underneath us, but for Eddie Jones, who's going to hear this anthem as England coach for the first time. Ideally, I think he'd rather be at Twickenham with a nice, relatively straightforward game against Italy at home. Instead, he's got to come here to the cauldron of Murrayfield. He's picked as many experienced players as he can, Mark, interestingly, bringing back some names you might have thought would be discarded after the failure of the World Cup. And he'll want his players to stand up and feel emboldened by the national spirit and the national anthem because he absolutely knows that the Scottish players will be. Joe, uh, your words given uh, there, so, so much uh, emotion with that music in the background, but uh, a Scotland team uh, desperately unlucky not to make the World Cup semi-finals. Do you think the Scots will build on that momentum? Yeah, absolutely. What do we want? We want some Scottish music to accompany this answer. I think they can build on that momentum, but they'll also have to deal with a disappointment. Greg Laidlaw, the captain, several other players have been, I think, very honest about what a deep disappointment it was not to go through against Australia with that last-minute controversial penalty. But, you know, they're a very settled team. Really, it will be the team from the World Cup which will take the field here. They'll have all that passion which we associate with Scottish teams at Murrayfield. I think they have a lot more skill and a lot more pace in their team in several positions uh, than teams that have lost to England in the past. And in their captain, Greg Laidlaw, they have a man who absolutely embodies the flower of Scotland and the bravery that goes with it. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. Joe Wilson there being serenaded at Murrayfield. Thank you, Joe.